All right, so now you notice I have two lavaliers on, right? Now this is a video that I should, I actually should have kept this into my last video. Um, so here's what happened. I had one of you guys comment and say, hey, did you test the new lavalier system made by DJI with the original DJI mics? And I said, yes, I actually did, but um, I took it out to save a little bit of time. Well, it was like three or four minutes worth of time because I did a whole comparison section on that video but it was just getting too long. So I'm making up for it. This is uh, gonna be the comparison between the original DJI with the DJI lavalier versus the uh, Mic 2s with their new lavalier. Now, on the website, it does say very specifically, hey, the new lavalier is designed for the uh, Mic 2s. Well, it works with the DJI original, but how well does it sound? I don't really know. So, um, well, I kind of have an idea because I've heard it before, but I just took it out. But anyways, I'm, I don't want to sway anyone's opinions. So I'm gonna sit both of these over here. I am recording internally to both, um, just to make it fair because I have one attached to the camera just so I have a scratch audio. So yeah, recording internally to both so we can have the best sound quality. Uh, I will not do any processing whatsoever except normalizing the audio so you can hear it better. I will be normalizing to negative 23 LUF. That is it. No other processing besides raising the volume levels to match. Okay, so here's the deal. We're going to go back and forth. You can determine what you like. I will not try, like I said a few minutes ago, a few seconds ago, I am not going to give you my opinion. I just want you to hear it. So you can make an informed decision if you should buy the new original, uh, the, if you should stick with the originals and just pick up the lives when they come available, or how about just going ahead and buying the new DJI Mic 2s. That'll be your decision. Okay, um, just trying to do filler so, so you guys can hear and get a better understanding of what these two sound uh, right next to each other. Okay, um, other things. This is probably the DJI is this the, yeah, the DJI Mic 2s will probably probably be my last consumer-based product. Um, unless somebody just want to give me something for free to review, I uh, probably won't buy anymore. Just, and that goes for Rode, DJI, or anyone else coming out. Now, there's a good reason behind that. I've kind of, behind the scenes, been investing quite a bit of money into a sound bag. Oh, oh, oh hold on. You don't want to drop that okay so yeah i just spent a good amount of money on this sound bag uh like the bag itself was 250 bucks so yeah now i'm running a mix pre 32 this is the k-tech bag that's designed for the mix pre 32 and the mix pre 62 um so yeah k-tech bag um i have an anchor battery pack up in here this is the 25,000 milliamp. This is the Anchor Power Core 3 Elite. So yeah, yeah, I'm slowly behind the scenes trying to get this together. This is like my entry into uh, sound design or whatever we call it. Like I'm just now stepping foot into that element. Now, if you have not watched like four or five videos ago, three or four videos ago, um, right now I currently have the 416, the Sennheiser 416. I currently have the MKE 600, which obviously is like an entry level microphone, a shotgun microphone. Um, I also have the MKH 50, which is not a shotgun microphone. It's more like a pencil condenser microphone, kinda. Um, so yeah, also pick this up here. This is a windscreen or a windshield for the 416. Now I have one for the MKE 600. It does not fit because I think it's a little bit too short. This is a, what is this? If you want to know, there you go. This, I think this is a 13, no, 18 centimeters, or I think it's seven inches. You need that, that's what you need for the 416. This thing ran me about 90 bucks, actually. I thought that was a really good uh, buy, by the way. It's not super expensive. So anyways, all right, that's what I'm running. Uh, I'm trying to slowly um, build that bag because professional equipment is very expensive. Even their entry level stuff is kind of very expensive. Like 
instead of buying all three of those these systems like the DJI original mic twos and the wireless pros like I could have gotten close to buying a professional system they're still a little bit more expensive uh, especially like I want the deity um, Theos I think that's what it's called Thanos Theos I, I can't remember off the top of my head but yeah that's what I'm shooting for as my first um, wireless system in this bag um, now here's the thing I am not looking to do any professional shoots or anything or commercials right now like I just want to do this for my channel um, just to get better audio plus me and my wife we have a podcast you don't need to know the name of it <laughs> it's something that we're playing around with like we do it legitimately but uh, we're still trying to polish that right so now I do have the Rodecaster Pro 2 when we're at home that's what we use is that's what we use um, what I'm trying to do is when we're on the go I'm wanting this podcast to feel very immersive and like have like I'm trying to do like a soundscape and like when we're out and about I want you to be able to feel like you're there if you're listening and um, obviously we have a YouTube channel with this podcast so I want you to be able to visually see something and hear it all at the same time or if you're just listening on one of the um, podcasts portals there like Spotify or, or uh, Apple or Google or wherever you listen um, I want it to feel very immersive I love listening to podcasts that are like super immersive like I like sci-fi podcasts horror podcasts that's mainly what I listen to when I listen to podcasts fun fact by the way like sci-fi stuff and um, uh, I listen to Joe Rogan uh, but yeah sci-fi uh, horror, horror horror stuff like I love horror podcasts and I love sci-fi podcasts like the the dramas and like this the, the long series that follows a particular character and it's like super immersive with all the different voices that's not just one character but then like all the different sounds and stuff I love that stuff man I fall asleep to that like that's the only way I fall asleep is one just listen to a horror podcast I used to only watch horror movies to go to sleep I don't know I'm just one of those weird people like that uh, I, I love the horror genre but uh yeah anyways I am wanting to create my podcast I know I'm talking a lot but I'm trying to give you guys an idea of what these things sound like but anyways yeah I I want that's what I'm aiming for right now I want to create a sound bag that's very good at doing that and then if I really enjoy doing that I want to be able to uh shadow someone that's in the uh, sound engineering department or you know maybe be an assistant at some point um, you know if I like it like I said I want to be able to do that um, I'm not going to be looking for any professional things on my own because honestly I don't know where to begin with even doing some remote anything like that um, I would, like I said I would want to uh, shadow someone and be an assistant first for a couple of years and then maybe branch out on my own and do it um, that's just how I like to do it. I want to know everything about something before I step in and try to make some money off of it. But anyways, yeah, that's the deal. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to probably ever buy another consumer product. Uh, if someone likes to give me one to review, I would definitely do that. But um, unless it's like something that's like groundbreaking, I probably would never buy it again. That, I mean, that, like I said, it, that means Rode, Sennheiser, um who else DJI that means anyone I'm done with the consumer products for a long time I'm gonna be stepping my game up and going to the next level with the pro consumer pro arena which I guess we can consider the Rode wireless pro um, I guess can cons pro consumer I don't know I still consider that a consumer product and, and just to be fair I consider it a consumer product because I mean it still lacks a lot of professional features in my opinion <laughs> um, and it still used 2.4 gigahertz uh, transmission which is not a professional level uh, anything none of them use 2.4 gigahertz they used uh, they, they you know with, when it comes to professional stuff they when I look into it it's like weird frequencies that I've never heard of um, all I'm used to is 2.4 gigahertz I've heard of 1.9 gigahertz uh, with some of the uh, Sennheiser stuff but um, yeah like 500 to 600 I don't know but you get what I'm saying okay no more consumer products for me I'm building a sound bag uh, so yeah 
I, hopefully I've talked long enough for you guys to hear the difference between the two or if there is a difference I'm not sure um, I'm not gonna try to sway you any other way okay so this was the DJI original with the lavalier versus the DJI Mic 2 with its lavalier um, again both of these are running the DJI the new DJI lavaliers uh, I know they're out of stock right now but hopefully they'll come back soon and you will be able to get your hands on them and, and try them out for yourself okay I'll see you guys in the next video um, just a sneak preview hey do you guys remember the Sennheiser uh, what is it, the XSWDs that came out five years ago with the original uh, wireless go yeah we're gonna be testing those versus these new products because here's the thing I really thought those were ahead of their time now okay I'm gonna save the rest of that for another video okay I'll see you in the next one